my name is Mother Rose and I am going to talk to you today about feelings. We all have feelings, some make us feel good and some make us feel not so good, but they are really important and being able to say how we feel is also really important. How many emotions and feelings can you name? There are some to help on the screen now. Before we come to school, loads of things happen which can make us feel lots of different things and can sometimes last into the day and change how we treat people and how people treat us. For example, you might have got to school and realised that you left your packed lunch at home. Now this might make you feel worried and anxious about your lunch. Now, when someone is anxious or worried, they might snap at their friends or teachers. But if you tell your friends or teachers that you are feeling worried because you have forgotten your lunch, instead of feeling anxious, you can now feel relief because it's all sorted out and you have lunch. Can you think of the different moods or feelings that you might have when you come to school? And what might cause those moods or feelings? And then I want you to think of some of the ways that you can help yourself deal with those feelings if they're not so good, or how you can share those feelings if they are good. Do you know that it's not wrong to feel the way you feel at any given time? We can't help the way we feel sometimes, but we can do our best to try to understand how our feelings and behaviour might affect others. And also, if we show care and consideration to the feelings of others, then it can help to make sure that we all feel loved and cared for. When we think about how we are feeling and how others are feeling, we show kindness both to ourselves and other people. Now, there's a guy in the Bible called Paul, and he was rubbish at thinking about other people's feelings, to the point that for a while he was a real bully. And then one day he met Jesus on a road. And Jesus made him realise that he wasn't behaving with kindness and love, and he changed his ways. And Paul said this, he said, love is patient and love is kind. If we listen to people and are kind and patient to ourselves and to each other, then the world feels like a kinder place. Time for reflection. Close your eyes and think about your day so far. Has anything happened today to put you in a particular mood? Is it a good mood or a not so good feeling mood? Think about those around you and try to remember that they may not be feeling the same way as you. Is there someone who you find hard to get on with. Why not make a special effort to be kind to them today and try to understand their point of view? In a moment, I'm going to pray. Now, if you don't want to pray, that's absolutely fine. Instead, I'd like you to imagine in your head somebody who has been kind to you and I would like you to say thank you to them 
if you see them in person later, say thank you to them for real. So let us pray. Our God, thank you for the gift of feelings. Please help me to be patient with other people, even when they make me cross. Please help me to try to understand them and be kind and caring. Amen. Well, thank you for letting me join you today for assembly. I know it's all a bit strange at the moment, but hopefully soon, I will be able to come and visit you all in school in person. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye now.